Uh, Yo, Ali, can you think of a good hook for this video? A good hook? Fucking left hook, man. <laughs> okay, never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're doing it all wrong. How do I know I'm doing it wrong? To the slow mo. Slow down, slow down, bloody hell. Yeah, that's the way. Don't keep your hands up. Keep your hands up, like this. Boxing and slow motion. Why did we do this for the last seven days? As one of our experiments, for the last seven days, we met every morning to do some boxing practice in the park. Boxing is another form of martial training. And so we did it for the same reasons that we also did the grappling and check out our video on that to learn more. But we also did something different with this experiment, which is that we made it a rapid learning experiment. So we basically wanted to see how quickly can we improve and especially two people on the team who have never done this before, who've never trained boxing before, how quickly could we help them improve their form? I'd never really done a lot of boxing before, so it was cool to kind of just get the one-two and, and figure out the basics. Felt like a good way to get some exercise in, good cardio workout and muscle workout all at the same time. There are basically three aspects that we brought into this to make it not just us, you know, hitting the pads, which can be a good workout, but actually make it a skill acquisition experiment. The first factor is narrowing the focus. For the entire week, we did about 80% of our training on just four punches, which is your jab, your straight, and your left and right hook. Instead of doing all kinds of different drills and all kinds of different combos and basically practicing loads of things a little bit, we practiced much fewer things, but much more intensely. The second factor is a tight feedback loop, which is to say that you practice and you get feedback and corrections rapidly. The habit of letting your front foot just twist into the punch slightly. Yeah, that's good. What I don't want is for you to throw the uppercut from the same distance as the jab. So if you fully extend yeah. your left arm for me, so ideally, so if you you can you hit the pad there, but can you throw an uppercut from there without moving your feet? You know, no. Ide any, ideally, any way, yeah. ideally, you don't have to just like yeah. a little step in is all you'd need. Yeah. This is something we got from the book Peak, which shows that this is something that the best performers tend to have in common. So that means that instead of kind of flailing about and, and hitting a pad for a long time and even like training the wrong form to do something, you're frequently getting input and feedback that helps you correct your form and you're spending more time practicing correct form. When you're slipping the hook, you really wanna make sure you're as around the side as possible, only slightly and you're still in his sight range yeah. and he'll just react to you. And then the third factor is slow motion feedback. We recorded ourselves and you could review your own form even in slow motion. Your arm position here, mm -hmm. it's like they're quite stiff and away from your body. You're super open here, right? You're dropping your right hand before a swing, you basically drop it all the way to your hip. I used to be a martial arts instructor a long time ago. And for me, it is really exciting that now basically any phone can record video and can even record slow motion video and you can play it back right there on the spot. I was super excited about being able to review my own form and in slow motion. To me, this is an amazing training tool. The recordings and the reviews, uh, they actually really did help because I was a bit smug at the start. I was like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I, I, Boxing, ah, yeah, I know this like the back of my hand, mate. But actually, I noticed that there was some real, yeah, there was some real, real technical things I was, I was, I was screwing up with. So the, the recordings and the slow mo in particular really did help, yeah. Yeah, the recordings and the review definitely helped because instead of just hearing someone tell me I was too tense or too stiff or my elbows weren't in, I could see it for myself. And so you're essentially giving yourself feedback in a way that you wouldn't be able to otherwise because you can't normally see yourself. For physical movements, I've always been a very visual learner. 
So being able to just almost instantly see myself do something in slow motion and find something to fix is amazing. This is, I wish I could have done this years and years ago when I was deep into martial arts training. When I saw the recordings, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought I was. That was a surprise for me. It's like, hey, you actually look like you're doing okay. Obviously, I could correct things, but for me, the big thing was, I'm doing it okay. I'm not as bad as I think I am. One of the things that the recordings showed me clearly as I was leaning too far off the center line with my punching and that's a good example where you know once I saw it it was just clear to me and it was pretty easy to fix but without the recordings and without the feedback I would have just kept doing it I wasn't aware of this mistake at all. The specific thing that I realized I needed improvement with is when I threw my one two the jab and the cross is when my punches went to return to my chin they they, they dipped by my hips on the way there Rather than throwing across and it coming straight back to the chin, I was throwing across and it was going underneath, leaving my face exposed for about you know a split second. And that's something that if in a boxing match, an opponent would totally capitalize on. But if, when I was able to sort of take a look at the footage in the slow-mo, I was able to correct it pretty quickly. And I don't know how long it would have taken me otherwise, but it was really, really helpful. The most specific important thing that I worked on was basically my resting position, my guard, having my elbows in, having my hands and arms relaxed, and using my body and my hips to punch instead of just using my arms and shoulders. There were three main areas that I needed to work on, uh, relaxing, stance, leaning forward, and then the elbow thing, but that one was the most important. Basically, I was tucking my elbow forward instead of tucking it back against the body. I would say that this experiment was definitely a success and the simplest indication of this is just from holding the pads for other people. Everyone is hitting way harder on day seven than they were on day one. And you can also see that when you look at people's form, you can just see that everything is crisper and cleaner and looks more like proper boxing on day seven than it did on day one. And if you consider that all of this difference comes from just seven days of practice, a total of about seven hours of practice, then I think that's quite significant of an improvement. At Ikario, we talk a lot about breaking free from the human zoo and we also talk a lot about like getting away from the negative influences of technology. But that doesn't mean that we're Luddites. And this experiment is a really simple example to show that the tools that we have, the technology that we have can be amazing. So your phone and your phone's video recording mode can be an amazing tool for learning physical skills and even doing kind of self feedback. Even if you don't have anyone else to give you feedback, you can record yourself and review your own form and improve like that. This is a great tool and I encourage anyone who's practicing physical skills to use this. So this is an example of using your phone as a tool that you use and get benefit from instead of having your phone use you as a tool to bring benefit to advertisers. So in conclusion, I think there are two takeaways here. The first is that if you haven't tried doing something like this, learning a bit of boxing, you'll probably enjoy that a lot and I definitely recommend it. But there's a more general takeaway, which is that for any physical skill, whatever it is that you wanna get better at, that is a physical skill, use your phone to record yourself and if possible, even record yourself in slow motion. And I think you'll be amazed at how quickly you can spot things to improve and how much this will help you improve faster. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try and let us know what you find. Hey, wanna get in on the action? We host challenges on a regular basis with other members of our community that include everything from gratitude to productivity to writing exercises and much, much more. To learn more, head over to ikario.com and go to the product section to see what you can enroll in. See you on the inside.